brothers welcome back to ages of conflict today we have modern border north america duking it out now when we look at our leaderboard canada is in first place followed by the united states in second place greenland is in third mexico is in fourth venezuela is in fifth now there are 26 nations duking it out here let's see how they do and who wins and comes out on top Oh, and look at this. Trinidad and Brazil have teamed up against Venezuela. Venezuela is getting pushed back, running out of cash. But Trinidad is also out of cash. As Venezuela is pushing back Brazil and Trinidad, Trinidad might be our first victim here. No, they do peace out, very fortunately for them. But Venezuela is now out of cash themselves. They're in a dark spot as Brazil is looking to creep up and take as much land as they possibly can before they peace out. And our first victim, El Salvador, was destroyed by Honduras. El Salvador out of this one. But it looks like they're getting invaded by Cuba. So that might be a short-lived victory. Okay, in our first 100 years, no major countries have fallen. The leaderboard remains mostly the same. Now, when we talk about alliances, the United States League is very large. It's the United States and Canada working together. The second biggest is the Treaty of Haiti, which is Haiti and the Bahamas. Operation Mexico is Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and Honduras. Operation Colombia is Colombia and Brazil. And the Caribbean's League, Caribbean misspelt, is the Caribbean and Venezuela. And Mexico has made landfall in Cuba before they peace out, but that is a dangerous spot for Cuba to be in as they immediately declare war on Haiti. Now, the Dominican Republic and Haiti vying for control of their island. Here comes the Bahamas, though. Very close to Cuba's capital. Cuba might fall in this battle. No, they do peace out. That's going to be very dangerous for Cuba, though. They are being assaulted on two fronts. Haiti might be in trouble here. The Dominican Republic do push through and take control of the island. Haiti out of this one. Guyana was destroyed by Venezuela. So Venezuela getting off to a really nice start here in South America, allying with Trinidad, the Caribbean, and the Dominican Republic, just kind of forcing Brazil into a corner. Now, Brazil still has Panama and Colombia as allies but venezuela looks very much up to that fight venezuela pushing back colombia but also being pushed back by brazil as honduras has also united so has nicaragua my goodness mexico the peacemaker has united about five countries in quick succession now they are having to deal with a big battle against the united states in that front but fortunately for them the borders are not moving and they do peace out mexico has quite the coalition they are building down here now it will be key as to what happens in south america if uh Mexico is able to kind of move over there and grab a bunch of land. They're going to need it if they're going to be able to take on the United States. Oh, and Brazil is out of cash. Venezuela wrapping them up as well as Colombia. Oh my goodness, they peace out of that one. Venezuela, though, knocking on the doors of Colombia and Brazil. And down falls Brazil. Venezuela conquering almost the entirety of South America. Still have Trinidad to go, but they are actually allied with Trinidad. So the only way they can push is through Costa Rica at this point and Mexico. Now, Brazil was, or Cuba was to conquered by the Bahamas. The Bahamas landing a big death blow. And there they go again as the Dominican Republic was also taken out by the Bahamas. So the Bahamas really establishing themselves here. Not even afraid to take on the United States as they once again engage in battle. Now, this might have been a losing war that they were not prepared for as the United States has a lot of gold to their name. Uh, I, just a little bit more than the Bahamas, though. The Bahamas have been able to capture a lot of gold here recently. And the Bahamas are not done as they touch down in Jamaica, looking to take out Jamaica in a swift blow. Now, Jamaica does have a good chunk of gold to their name, about 3,000, but the Bahamas are very, very close to Jamaica's capital. And Trinidad has united into the Caribbean. The Caribbean a little bit stronger now. We'll see how much longer they're able to hold out here. And down falls Jamaica. Jamaica is out of this one. The Bahamas claims another head to put on their mantle. And in the year 1000, we are down to our final 10 nations. The Canada still has first place. The United States is still in second place. Mexico is in third, followed by Greenland in fourth. Venezuela is fifth. Russia is sixth. The Bahamas is seventh. Eighth place is Costa Rica. Ninth place is the United Kingdom. And 10th place is the Caribbean. Now, when we talk about alliances, the United States League still far and away the best with the United States and Canada. Closely followed by, well, closely followed by the Bahamas Alliance, which is Bahamas, and Greenland and the United Kingdom. The Order of Mexico is Mexico and Costa Rica, but Costa Rica in a dangerous spot here, getting very close to being annihilated by uh, Venezuela. And last is the Treaty of the Caribbean, which is Caribbean and Venezuela. And this might be it for Costa Rica, and it is, as Costa Rica does fall to Venezuela right after the unpause 
so now it is a big battle between mexico and venezuela the united states is also knocking on the door there but they're having to deal with the bahamas as well so they're not exactly gaining territory in fact they're losing territory to mexico right now and look at this the bahamas is pushing back the united states they have taken over almost all of florida here now that's not the only problems that the united states has they've also lost parts of texas as well to mexico the united states despite all of their power and their giant alliance is just getting bullied everywhere here comes the bahamas on a huge rampage through the united states the united states is very low on command efficiency here and they're going to lose all of florida and a little bit of georgia as well and mexico says it's my turn now as they're making big gains throughout texas the united states finally able to get up their command efficiency here and stalemate but my goodness the united states is losing a lot of ground and the Bahamas looks like they've changed their focus as they've made landfall in South America. Now, they are having to worry about the United States up top. Oh, but Mexico has joined the League of the Caribbean, which means it's Mexico, Venezuela, and the Caribbean against the Bahamas, who is really just the Bahamas at this point. There is the United Kingdom up north and Greenland, but they're not doing too many favors for them down here in the south. And here goes the Bahamas again with the United States. The United States and them are mostly stalemating there. But that's because the Bahamas just got out of a big war with Mexico and Venezuela. But here they go pushing against the United States once again. And the Bahamas are such a warrior. Look at this. They're pushing back Mexico and Venezuela at the same time as well as the Caribbean. The Bahamas are really a powerhouse here. And here go the Bahamas really pushing through Venezuela and Mexico making some huge gains here. This would be a huge coup for the Bahamas if they're able to take out either of these two countries. And here comes Mexico getting very close to Venezuela's capital. Now, Venezuela has cored a number of cities, so they're not going to be out of this one yet, but they are going to lose their original capital being pushed all the way over into the east. And the Bahamas continue their warpath rampaging through South America. The Bahamas are doing incredible. They've also pushed back the Caribbean's off their original capital the caribbean is now having to hold court in trinidad's old capital and the united kingdom is out of this one having united with greenland now greenland is still allied with the bahamas down south so that might be the power coalition they've definitely been the group gaining the most as canada and the united states have been stalled out by the bahamas rolling through the united states and also having to fight off mexico although they have mostly returned to their original borders the Bahamas continuing their warpath against the United States have now made their way into the Carolinas and almost into Louisiana here. Oh my goodness. And the Caribbean was destroyed by Venezuela. Caribbean having left that alliance has been taken out by Venezuela. But it, will that even matter as the Bahamas is very much encroaching on Mexico and Venezuela. Venezuela mostly holding the line here. But that might be the it for Mexico. And it is. Mexico has fallen too the bahamas now the united states getting a ton of land off of this but they will have a giant obstacle in front of them which is the bahamas and the bahamas are pushing up to the united states capital do they have any other cities court it doesn't look like it this looks like the only capital that the united states has and if the bahamas get there that is going to be the it for the united states and canada is going to have to do this alone and they are one pixel away from taking out the united states and the bahamas have less to worry about as venezuela Oh, joined and immediately left the Bahamas Union. Never mind, scratch that from the record. But uh, Venezuela, I don't know if that's a smart move for you. You might want to join the winning side on this one. Oh, and here we go. This could be it. They're so close. The game just froze. Yep, the United States is gone. The United States destroyed by the Bahamas. Canada makes a rush for it, but the Bahamas has a quick jump on them. Oh my goodness. The Bahamas are rulers of this new world. Now, will they be able to stand up to Canada is the next question in mind but they have taken out so many countries already. It's just, it may not be a question of if, but when. And in the year 2000, Canada leads by 91,000 pixels. But in second place is the Bahamas, who has taken out five nations already. Canada has taken out nobody. Third place belongs to Greenland. Fourth place is Russia. And fifth place is Venezuela. Now, when we look at the alliances, it's just the Bahamas pact, which is the Bahamas and Venezuela. Canada has no alliance. Oh, and Greenland as well. Canada does not have an alliance. The only free agent currently. Oh, wait, never mind. Russia's involved in this as well. So it's the entire world united against Canada, at least for right now. And Greenland has united into the Bahamas. And Venezuela has united into the Bahamas. So the Bahamas have less problems to worry about. Venezuela never going to be able to uh, go against them. So it is a 1v2 in the situation as the russia cannot unite with venezuela as they have no borders near each other 
So, but that might change with Canada falling. We'll have to wait and see. And just to make things a little bit clearer, I am going to change the color of Canada to red. So that's easier to differentiate between the Bahamas and Canada. And we can actually see what's going on and where the borders are. And Russia, seeing the tides go against them, has flipped sides, joined Canada, and united into Canada. So what was once a very big stalemate has very much gone in Canada's favor as they've gotten big pushes against the Bahamas here. How much longer will the Bahamas be able to hold out, and will they be able to mount a comeback is yet to be seen. And if you can't beat them, join them as the Bahamas has given up and united into Canada, making Canada our winner here. Canada has still taken out nobody but was able to win this game. So GG's to Canada. And I sure hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Ages of Conflict. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. And a special thank you to all of my members with executive producers Ratsuka Robert, Miskits the Mallard, 137KQGL, In My Element, Mason Slash Aurelius, Rob Coleman, Uther Ekana, Mato TG, and channel sponsor Daniel Stevens. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.